Okay, so RJ, you recently went into Bell Medical. You got a gynecomastia procedure. So first of all, let's kind of educate the audience what a gynecomastia procedure is. What? Give me a little bit of a detail of what you think it is and why you went into Bell. So basically what the gynecomastia procedure included for me um, was they went in and there was an issue right underneath the, the nipple, very common in men. Um, for me, it was onset kind of in puberty. Um, and basically what that was, is it was a small tissue that started to grow. And the only option for that is surgery. Your body can't reabsorb it. Um, it's not gonna go away once it's developed. It's pretty much there to stay. Exactly, so uh, as he was saying, uh, gynecomastia is when estrogen in a man starts to accumulate tissue under the nipple. Now that can cause two things. There's fat-based gynecomastia, which is just, you know, that soft fatty tissue, which a lot of people know as man boobs. But then there's actual tissue-based gynecomastia, which is under that nipple. And no matter how lean you are, you can be as lean as RJ and it won't go away. It's not only um, going to protrude outside of the chest, but it's actually quite painful. And so what we at Bell were able to do is we were able to finally hone in our technique to remove that gland without five to six weeks of surgery. Yeah, not only that, the biggest thing is just normal activity. You're out for one or two weeks at a minimum, uh, laid up in bed, may miss work, may have other issues there. So on top of that, then you've got another couple of weeks, couple of months maybe, mm -hmm. that you are recovering, you can't do sports, you can't work out. Um, really for me, the recovery time made uh, traditional gynecomastia, sur gynecomastia surgery really just off the table. Right, and I mean, in terms of price, I feel like we're able to even come in under traditional means. So if anyone is suffering like RJ and they just can't get rid of that man boob or gynecomastia that is tissue based, that's under the nipple and you're feeling uncomfortable about it, just come on in, right? I mean, we are happy. We're not gonna make you feel uncomfortable. I mean, I myself have had issues there. I know RJ has, come in guys. Don't be scared. Everyone has it. It can happen during puberty. It can happen to the best of us. Guys, go to bellmedical.com today and schedule your free consultation.